Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are giving my client who has never been in a salon or actually gotten a silk press some real TLC. Now her case is a little bit different. Um, she just took some braids out. She has a lot of congestion in her scalp area, meaning dandruff, um, a lot of buildup from oil, from the braids. So we are going to be doing a real deep conditioning or deep penetration cleansing treatment on her. So we started out by using our Soothe and Balance pre-treatment. Now this treatment is great for those of you that are dealing with issues of congestion of the scalp, dry itchy scalp, um, buildup on the scalp or congestion is another good word to use. Basically you apply this to the scalp and also the hair. You can massage it in and allow it to sit for up to five minutes um, with a processing cap or you can just apply it to the hair and let it sit open air and then use it to um, use a comb to lift up any additional buildup on the scalp. Now what I'm using hers for is basically I did a pre-treatment but I also applied it to the actual hair because I know that she had a lot of oil buildup on the hair so this is going to serve as also a dry shampoo that is going to remove all of that excess oil from her hair. Now I'm also using our scalp agitator. This is gonna help to lift up any buildup on her scalp. It's also gonna help to um, soothe any itch that she might have because her hair has been definitely covered up for quite some time. And then we're gonna go into the shampoo process. Now for her first rinse, I actually use cool water because I know she had a lot of oil in her hair and I want that oil to solidify. And also this helps to remove a lot of that excess oil from the hair a lot easier. When you go straight in with warm water, it actually warms the oil. And as we got, we all know, oil and water doesn't mix. So it's actually gonna make it even more complicated for you to get that oil out. So cool water works really, really well. Now for her first actual shampoo, I did use our hair repair and restore shampoo on her hair. And this is the first shampoo after the Soothe and Balance pre-treatment. Now the Soothe and Balance, we do have the actual collection where you can use the pre-treatment shampoo and deep conditioning mask. In her case, for her second shampoo, I'm actually gonna be using the Soothe and Balance um, herbal shampoo along with the hair repair and restore shampoo as a cocktail. So I'm gonna be doing two processes in one. So what I did was go and get one of my fine tooth combs just to kind of go through her head because I did see there was a little patch of buildup left behind. This is also something that you guys should be doing if you have a lot of scalp congestion. This is going to help with number one, cleaning the scalp. This is also going to help lessen the amount of buildup that you have on the scalp going forward. Really and truly what it's about when you have dandruff or dry scalp or anything of that nature, it's about having control rather than trying to cure. Not everything is able to be cured, but you can definitely learn to control and lessen things all at the same time. So what I just did just now was create a cocktail using our Soothe & Balance Sulfate-Free Shampoo along with our Hair Repair and Restore Shampoo. And this is what we call a cocktail, you guys, meaning a custom formula or a custom formulation or a custom mix.
Okay, so I always say when you're rinsing out your shampoo, you do want to make sure that you rinse thoroughly and the water is nice and warm um, or to your liking. I don't recommend using cold water on the shampoo process. But what we're going to do now is use our Soothe and Balance Herbal Conditioning Mask on her hair. This is actually going to be her treatment for today. We're going to be doing a five-minute treatment. And I'm also, <clears throat> excuse me, also going to be adding um, another cocktail in regards to her hair because I did see that she had some sparseness at the hairline and she definitely needed some TLC in that area. Now, before I put my client to sit with the conditioning mask, I do like to detangle whenever possible. And that's just going to make my job a lot easier. It's also going to distribute that conditioning mask all over the hair, which is very important. Now, this is a soothing conditioning mask. But it can also be used for those of you that have any type of hair repair or hair growth issues like stagnated growth. And then I went ahead and added some of our super growth serum, which is our water based serum to her hairline. And then I just used our scalp agitator just to kind of distribute it and get that blood flow going. So now that her conditioning process is complete, I'm going to go ahead and rinse her out using cool slash cold water. Um, typically this is definitely a, a step that I don't miss with any client, no matter if you're relaxed, natural, low or high porosity, you always want to make sure that you close that cuticle at the end of the service. And then of course you're going to not, not, or do not skip over your leave in conditioner. Let me say that the right way, because your leave in conditioner is going to also serve as a form of heat protectant it is also going to give you some external conditioning properties after the fact. And I do recommend that after every shampoo process, you use a leave-in conditioner. So in her case, I'm using the Moist Repair leave-in conditioner because she is low porosity and somewhat coarse. So the Moist Repair is definitely going to be a better benefit for her. And then I'm just rope twisting her hair to get her prepared to go under the dryer to air dry or diffuse the air dry. I say this in almost every video because I want you guys to start following this process, but I do not like blow drying, sopping wet hair. I do feel like it can also alter the elasticity in the hair and it can also break the bond in your hair. And a lot of you wonder why um, sometimes after doing your hair, your hair feels hard and brittle from blow drying it so much, or you start noticing a lot of straight pieces coming out a lot faster than need be, especially for those of you who like to press your hair out. So now that her hair is dry, I'm going to apply a little bit of the Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum to her hair. This is going to serve as our heat protectant during the time of us doing our thermal styling. And I did want to make sure that I put it all over her hair because she is somewhat coarse. And typically, it doesn't um, disperse as well on coarse hair unless you really rub it in. So I'm starting with the hot comb, which this is the H2 Pro 1 and 1 fourth of an inch hot comb. This is a professional grade hot comb. It is available on my website at EliteHairCareUSA.com. But why I'm using the hot comb is to basically smooth out her roots. She is not used to getting silk presses. So this is definitely a client where she will revert a lot faster than most. And that's the reason why I started with the hot comb and then I finished out the press or the thermal portion of it with my one inch H2 Pro flat iron, which is the titanium iron that's also gonna silk out um, from the mid shaft all the way to the ends. Now for clients, oh gosh, sorry guys, my nose is running. <laughs> for clients who have um, a lot coarser texture hair or for those who have never had a silk press, using a combination of the hot comb and the titanium iron will definitely do a lot more justice. It'll help um, more than hurt. And the reason why I like to do it this way is because I want my client to have the longevity of even more than 24 hours. And you run that risk when you're dealing with clients who are not used to this process or have never had a process like this done because the hair has a, has a memory. It's gonna remember everything that you've done to it. And if it's not used to being straight, how do you expect it to stay straight long? So that's another reason why I did this combination. And then I like to do both. And that allows my client to have a little more longevity. But I have not had an issue with a client reverting back to their curl pattern.
hairline up or you lift that hair up so that you can stretch out the root. Okay, so now we're going to work on her hairline. And I wanted to separate this area so you guys could see the difference between um, her hair that was not broken or in a better shape than her hairline. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, she wears a lot of braids, which this kind of comes with the territory, you guys. How I would counteract this is definitely saying to lessen the amount of tension that you're putting on the hairline. Start using some of our edge repair <clears throat> and regrowth. Um, edge repair kit which definitely works for the hairline and even our super growth kit will or super growth serum will work for this as well now what I'm doing is I'm using my hot comb and I'm just putting slight tension on the hair to lift it off of the scalp and stretch it out so that I can smooth it with the um, hot comb itself now the hot comb is a ceramic hot comb for those of you that can tell it has a coated plate but how I like to do this is to definitely be section by section i try to do a smaller section as possible and then as soon as i smooth that area out i always directionalize the hair to make sure that i'm telling the hair this is the direction that i want you to go so that i don't have to go back and work harder rather than smarter now after her press we went ahead and did her trim you guys can definitely tell the front of her hair is a lot shorter than the back so we're doing her trim now and we're going to go ahead and start that process of ensuring that we're following our trim schedule which I know a lot of you already know this, but we follow the financial calendar for natural hair, which is once every financial quarter. And there are four quarters in a year. So that's how you keep up with your trims. And that's what I definitely recommend. So that once you have um, a regimen going, you won't really have to worry about doing a large haircut because you are literally monitoring your hair every quarter anyway. And I always say prevention is better than cure. It's better to follow your trim schedule now rather than coming to me later and asking me to give you a pixie cut because you just really let it get out of hand and now everything is broken or split. Okay? So if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please don't forget to also thumbs up this video and please share this video with your family and friends by clicking that little arrow and sharing it via text or even your social media. Now I sprayed her hair with some Sebastian Shaper. I also sprayed her hair with our Goddess Polish, which currently is out of stock, but will be back in stock very, very soon. And you guys look out for my birthday sale, which is coming up June 26th, where we'll be launching our new Empress collection, which is my birthday collection. That is the strengthening collection for those of you that are dealing with damaged hair and you wanna start really taking better care of your hair. The Empress Collection is directly for that. So you guys look out for that. And as I said, June 22nd is my birthday sale. And you guys know I always pull out all the stops on your girl's birthday sale. Okay. All right. So now we're doing her styling. Now, if you notice, I'm doing very large sections. I am still using the H2 Pro 1-inch Titanium Iron, which this is also available on my website at EliteHairCareUSA.com, along with all of the other products that you guys saw me use today. Now, because she's already silked out, this is another reason why I'm doing larger sections because I'm not trying to silk her anymore. Now it's just me curling her and getting her prepared for her styling. And that's another reason why I like to do large sections when it gets to this point. Now, the smoke that you guys are seeing, that is not her hair burning or frying. That is because the iron is coming in contact with that goddess polish, which also serves as a heat protectant. So it's also going to give off a slight amount of smoke. But how you know if there's something wrong, the smoke itself should dissipate almost immediately, which is what you guys are seeing. It should not stay in the air like a cloud. Now, what I'm doing is from wrapping her hair and getting her prepared for us to do our processing cap method. You can also do what they call the saran wrap method here as well. But I like the processing cap method because it keeps the volume in the hair and keeps that body in her hair. And it also gives her a lot more longevity by not making the hair super flat right at the beginning. So I'm using my blow dryer. This process usually takes me no more than 10 to 20 seconds. I don't do this for very long because I do want to keep the volume. But if you are a person where you don't want any volume in your hair, then you can use the saran wrap method and go under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, once I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and remove her cap. I was allowing the heat to escape and allowing her hair to cool down slightly. And then I'm going to use my wide tooth comb just to comb her out. Now, before we go, I just want to make sure you guys have already done so. And if you haven't already done so, 
please, please, please go and subscribe to your girl's channel and also subscribe to my Elite Total Body Care channel. The link is down in the description box. I'm trying to grow that channel as well. And don't forget to comment and tell me what you guys thought about her hair today. She has some good volume going on, which is exactly what we were going for. And then I noticed that we've been with the, her hairline being severely broken. I said, you know what, let me go ahead and give her a little bit of sideburn and utilize that to her advantage because that area is broken, but we're gonna make it look like it was just a sideburn choice which you can do that as well but those edges definitely need to be smoothed out first before you do that you guys <laughs> but i hope you guys are enjoying the videos i know i haven't been on in quite some time so i thank you guys for just sticking with your girl while she's going through her life just her life as usual and then of course i'll be back with more and more videos following this so don't forget to comment down below and thank you guys for watching